Hello, welcome to Foundation Friday, March 16th, 2018. Steve Cypress here on another beautiful winter day here in sunny Arizona as the sun is beginning to set in the background. And speaking of in the background, is my absolute number one favorite rhino of all that will serve as today's rhino of the day. Now I have close to or maybe over a thousand different rhinos in my collection. Out of all the rhinos I have, this is my number one, my favorite of all the rhinos. Been saving it for the right occasion, and here it is. Ba-boom! Check that thing out. How cool is that? This is a some kind of a precious stone carving out of some kind of stone something or other rhino I forget I had a card with it when I got it has some outrageous price tag to it and it is heavy solid it's numbered number 101 out of 5500 only 5500 in the world hard to believe there are that many people that would collect something as cool as this but how about that for an extremely cool carving right out of the rock of a rhino. I mean, the second I saw this thing, I absolutely fell in love with it. And I just knew I had to have it no matter what the price. I loved it. And I absolutely decided right there, right on the spot, I absolutely had to have it, number one, no matter what. Then I saw the price and I was like, ooh, what am I going to tell my beautiful wife, Michelle? And how am I going to possibly justify spending that much money on a rhino and then I got to ship it back to wherever I lived. I got to get it back there and then as we move it takes unbelievable special care to not damage this beautiful limited amazing rhino and that in fact is today's Foundation Friday tip. So it came from yesterday where I had the unfortunate uh, experience of meeting with a an attorney for over two hours, two hours and 12 minutes to be precise, his assistant told me. And uh, that was just mind-bogglingly, excruciatingly excruciating. I mean, my head was just ruined uh, for the rest of the day. And thankfully, when I got up today, I was back in good shape. But oh my goodness, just being with this guy and listening to him pontificate on what a genius he was, 40 years in his career and this and that. And of course, I didn't have a heart to tell him that you know, I have a law degree myself. I went to a law school about 17 times better than his. Uh, but of course, I have no experience as an attorney. But as far as the aptitude, I also scored a 99% on a law school admission test, 99 percentile. So I have a feeling that I have a, a higher aptitude. I went to a better school. But he went off on pontificating all about all his legal genius and insights and whatever. And one of them uh, not only struck me as interesting, and I almost burst out laughing, but my beautiful wife Michelle caught it as well when he started telling us about uh, when you go in front of a judge and he said, you know, you would think, not knowing that of course I would not think whatever ridiculous thing he's going to say that your average person might, but he said, uh, you would think that when you get a case in front of a judge, it's all about the truth and the facts and who's right and who's wrong and it's not. You see, I know what almost nobody else knows. I know a little known fact, I'm gonna let you know, an ins I'll let you in on an inside secret. Judges make their decisions based on emotion and then they back it up with logic. So they come to an emotional decision and this is where you have an advantage because you have some emotion in your case, blah, 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 blah. And so if you can get the judge, almost instantly usually makes a decision and then goes through the whole rest of the trial gathering enough evidence to back up a way to come out with his opinion to justify his emotional decision that he made almost instantly. That's a little inside fact I'll tell you about how judges make opinion, how make decisions. And my beautiful wife Michelle, you know, had to contain herself from cracking up. So did I, because that's the foundational tip, folks. And hopefully it is foundational. It's something you know to your core and it's like the simplest, most basic fact on earth. But people, all people, not just judges. I mean, red alert to this attorney who thought he was, he had find some inside secret information that only he had discerned because of his massive 40 years of experience and expertise and brilliance. But all human beings, no matter who they are and what they do, 
We all make our decisions based on emotion and then we back them up with logic. So when you're making your sales pitch or doing your marketing or trying to get somebody to buy your stuff and you're throwing at them all the facts and figures and the whatever, but you're not including the emotional reasons why they need that problem solved. They want that solution. They want to avoid that pain. What is it? That's the emotion. That's where you make the sale. Then they'll back it up with all the facts and figures and what. Well, you know, they've been business this long, and you know. So let's say somebody wants to become a client of mine. They just want to. They just know, man. I want that guy thinking for me, working for me, putting together my marketing system and helping me implement it because I'm going to make a lot of money. I just know it. And then they gotta back that up and go, well, why do I know it? Hey, UPS guy. Oh, it's not coming here, it's driving down the street. And an, and an helicopter's going overhead, all kinds of things that happen. And so they would say, oh, I just, I just know, I just wanna be with that guy, Steve. I love the way he does such and such, and I love how he's helped so many people do this, and I just got a gut feeling and all this emotional feeling kind of stuff. But then if somebody asks, well, why'd you go with Steve? They're never going to say, oh, because I just had a gut. Well, some will. The ones that are being honest and, and, and understand how the world works will say, I had a gut feeling, and I learned long ago, it's one of the main reasons I'm successful in business. I trust my gut feelings. Most people would say, well, because he's helped this many people, and you know that he's uh, recommended by this person, and he's an expert on this, and he's been in this many books, and this many podcasts, and this many websites, and blah, 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 and he's the number one of this, and the number one of that. You know, he set a record here, and he did that this, and he whatever. Like, they'll come up with all these reasons, emo these logical reasons to back up their emotional decision. And so going back all the way to the top, and then we'll end it for today, my beautiful favorite rhino of all my co collection, I told the story up tight, up top, that may, if you were here and if you were watching at that early point in this video, you might not have realized what I was doing. I was letting you know that as soon as I saw this, I fell in love, boom, emotion. And I said right then and there, I just gotta have it no matter what, emotion. Then I had to back it up with some kind of logic. Well, how can I justify? Well, because it's limited edition. So it's a collector's edition. So it's likely to go up in value. I had to come up with some kind of logical explanation, not only to myself, to my beautiful wife, Michelle, to anyone else who would ever see this, know the price I paid for it and go, you're a complete lunatic, what are you, crazy? The answer really is, yes, I'm a complete lunatic and I'm crazy. I made the decision emotionally. I just had to have it, period. Then I'll back it up with so well, but you see, it's limited edition. You see, it's made out of some rare something or other, and it's a carving, and it's a one of a kind. And you know, uh, I will, uh, you know, not eat ice cream for two for two months to pay for it, or I'll this and that, or I'll, you know, I'm sure I I would I, if I had to. I don't have to in my life. I mean, not for the, how, no matter how much that is, it's not something that's gonna, you know, that I have to justify or make excuses for or whatever. But everyone makes decisions, all decisions on emotion and we back it up with logic. Remember that the next time you're doing any kind of marketing, sales, any kind of communication, persuasion, manipulation, whatever you want to call it, remember, appeal to the person's emotion. That's how they'll make their decision whether to buy or not buy from you. And I hope they buy from you. And that's it for Foundation Friday. Thanks for being here today. Over and out, I'll be back tomorrow with a fun story Give you a hint. I talked about it earlier this week on ah, on Direct Mail Monday. I'll be sharing that success story on tomorrow on Success Story Saturday. I hope you'll be with me then. Bye bye.